What's going on, everybody? It's Matt, a.k.a. The Lumberjack Landlord, and Mike from One Rental at a Time. How's it going, Mike Zuber? Hey, man, it's going really well. This is a video that I'm going to ask you to send me today because I yes. want it on my channel as well today, yeah. if I can. Yeah, so guys, what we're really excited to talk to you about is uh, rates because bonds are going bonkers. <laughs> this makes no sense whatsoever unless they're looking at literally one little slice of data yeah. from that jobs report, which is mine and Mike's fear. Um, yeah. But there's good news and bad news, but most importantly, there's news. And that's what yeah. we always bring to you guys. So Mike, as we talked, as we saw this morning, when that horrible jobs report, and please make sure you watch segment one and two, because this will make a whole lot more sense, even though we'll yeah. try and do our best to have it stand alone. Um, you know, we looked at that, bond, you know, the uh, tenure this morning, and it was 1.48 or 1.47. For those of you who don't know what that is, that is largely how what affects mortgage rates. Mm -hmm. And so that's why everybody watches that 10 year bond so closely is because yep. banks charge the mortgage rate based on what they can buy those bonds for, essentially. Yeah. So Mike, take us through it. Where are we at now? I know it's been, I mean, you know how volatile that bond market is, wink, wink, wink. <laughs> You know, we, yeah, it's not usually this volatile. Yeah. So where are we at? Let's kind of set this up, right? So again, coming into today, the overwhelming opinion was the job market is getting better fast. Yes. And when the job market gets better fast, the economy gains momentum and keeps going forward. Yes. Right. People were calling for a million. I was calling for a million five. It came in at 236. Huge miss. Biggest miss in 21 years. Now, these are people that are paid seven figures a year. And they, the biggest miss in 2021 20, or 27 years, something crazy. So what happened immediately? As you would expect, the bond market, meaning the 10-year, fell in yield, went up in price. They're, 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 um, they're reversed. So coming into the report, the 10-year was about 1.56. Mm -hmm. Immediately after a huge disappointment, something that nobody can explain, it went down almost immediately, like within 20 or 30 minutes to 1.47, which if you don't know the 10-year note, that's a pretty big interday swing and certainly a big swing inside of an hour, right? It's oh. hundreds of, it's, it's huge, this yeah. market. Right? If, if, the feds, if the Fed's not speaking, that, is, that can be a multi-week range. Exactly. Yeah. And what is since transpired is people had a chance to digest the numbers because again the report is this big and people reacted on the headline headline 236 everybody wanted a million or more right sell right yields collapse now they're looking at the report and they're going huh <laughs> there's uh there's this thing about wages going up and again wages went up 0.7 in a oh. month now, oh. 0.7, you may hear that and not think anything, but you have to times that by 12. Right. And that becomes 8.4. Yeah. And oh, by the way, the job growth is light. So what people are starting to realize is, oh my God, wage inflation may not be around the corner. It may be right here, here mm -hmm. right now. So yep. in the span of three hours, rates went from crashing to 1.47. I'm looking at my phone right now. They're now up for the day Yep. after being down. They're up 0 0.02, which is a pretty big swing. They're now 1.582% as of the recording. So yeah, again, you think the job market number was bad, which again, headline number was crash. They get into the report. They see some pretty alarming wage inflation you know, again, 0. 0.7 in a month times 12 is 8.4 and no jobs. I think there's real fear now that wage inflation is not coming. It's here. Yeah. And I think that's why rates are up. Yeah. Yeah, I agree. And I think the other thing um, that we also have to look at is inflation doesn't largely doesn't stay in one area of the economy. Oh, no. Right. I mean, you heard Warren Buffett last Saturday. Yeah. saying suppliers are, are raising prices on us and we're raising prices elsewhere. Yep. If you continue to have this wage inflation in the service industry, which is where all most of this was reported, it, um, pull, you're going to feel it. Yeah. I mean, one of the things that, you know, that I think about Mike, you know, relating it to real estate is folks that are going under contract on new homes and oh, when yeah. exactly that rate actually locks in, if it's not locking in right now, 
and your pricing locking in right now, which largely those guys are pretty smart and they're not allowing for, you know, a building project to go six months with no price increases. Yeah. Yeah. You guys got to be watching the details. If you're buying a new house or you're buying new construction, you've got to be looking at the terms of the deal because you could very easily afford it today. And six months from now, if inflation is 5% higher yeah. or 6% higher, that is, that is bad news because what if your rate is at that point? What if the 10 years no longer 158 and it's 258? Yeah. You know, your, your payment is not, your payment is literally going to go up 60%. You know, I mean, mm-hmm. these numbers are not to be trifled with. So you know, as it, as it relates to real estate, please make sure if you're buying new construction, that you are watching this every single day, not just my channel and Mike's channel, mm-hmm. but actually watching the tenure every single day yeah, and sure. make sure that you're understanding exactly what's in that contract, because the longer it delays out, the more risk that there possibly is. Mm-hmm. And if you're not locking in a rate today on the house, as far as from a, uh, from a mortgage rate is concerned, that is a massive area of risk for you as well. Yeah. What I would tell all my students of one rental at a time is <laughs> Go get that 30 year money. I yeah. mean, it, it's, it's, it's going to be cheap. And the other thing I had yesterday was, you know, my mortgage experts on Wednesday got back to me and said that uh, his wholesale lender largest in the country is now pushing arms, which just scares me to death. Oh, no. Adjustable rate mortgages. Yeah. 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 <laughs> right. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. I mean, the saving, yeah, grace so, that, I mean, the saving grace that we have with the arms right now and the saving grace that we also have, um, you know, largely speaking with the, the mortgages that have been done is that the credit standards are far stronger than they used yeah. to be. But if yeah. you look, the highest number of people are opening up HELOCs on their houses as have since 2007. Mm-hmm. And now they're coming out with arms. So again, guys, Mike and I have always said, this is like a battleship. It's not like a jet ski. This thing is mm-hmm. very slow, very sticky on the way down, very sticky on the way up. It, mm-hmm. But before you know it, it then arrives and you're like, holy cow, what do I do now? Yeah. You know? And you know, as, as an interesting side note, apparently our buddy, Grant Cardone, I'm not sure if you saw, oh. but our buddy Grant Cardone bought his own personal residence. Really? I did he, not hear that. He did. He bought a house from Tommy Hilfiger for $28 million. Oh, uh, it's good to be Grant. 28 million bucks. Right. But good. good to be Grant. As we all know, Grant for years, rent, 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 never own anything. Don't buy it. Don't own it. It's a waste of money. It's a horrible idea. He bought the house. 28 million bucks. So good, good for him. What is Grant thinking? I'm thinking that he's thinking, and I'm just guessing here, that he's thinking rates are largely going up and his least expensive option is not going to be renting at a much higher rate over the next few years. Yeah, I mean, I certainly could be that. My, my guess is he's sitting on so much cash that he can't deploy. <laughs> I don't want to think about that one, Mike. Yeah, Come on. That's what I think it is. I just think he's like, he's like money is raining down on him yeah. and, and his wife and his kids. He's like, I got to put it somewhere. No banks want my money anymore. I, you know, I've got too much. Yeah. I, don't know. I mean, but think about that, Mike. This is changing. What we're witnessing in the bond market and in the oh, economy great. is literally changing people's behavior to the degree that somebody for the last decade that has said rent, 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 don't buy, don't buy, don't buy, is now putting $28 million where his mouth wasn't. So what Mike and I always talk about is watch what people are doing. Don't watch just what they're saying. Absolutely. You know, because I mean, this is where, you know, this is where largely a lot of the YouTube videos, some are good like wine, some are good like milk, Mm -hmm. you know, which is, you know, if it's, if it's well, yeah, exactly. If it's been a week in the sun, I wouldn't drink it. Yeah, you know, exactly. so I think there's just huge opportunities in these markets to watch them understand what's going on. You know, I don't expect I'm not an economist myself, but I listen to guys like Mike. I'm able to formulate opinion based on my experiences with my other homes. I talk to a couple banks that I work with that have mortgages of mine. All of these conversations allow for us to at least garner some level of understanding of what's going on. And then try to just stay ahead of it, or at least make sure that we have some level of risk mitigation, because Mike and I are in a different spot. We can't get 30-year fixed money. 
oh man, would that be awesome? But we can't. But for those of you that can, this is something that you guys should be evaluating, doing your homework, understanding your market, knowing what you're looking for. But if you've already done the homework, bravo, because now you're in a position where you can be buying, buying good deals with 30 year fixed money with something that looks like inflation is going to be heavy and nasty coming. Yeah. I mean, I see, I mean, I've looked at this a lot in the last four hours, trying to figure out how, again, job, job growth disappoints, but rates go up. That is not normal. And <laughs> the only thing I can think of is they're focused on that 8.4% annualized wage growth. Yeah. I mean, think about that. How, when was the last time anybody got an 8.4% raise? Uh, it's a long time. I mean, it's got to be a pretty unique situation. And that's what we're talking about, guys. That's how you know people look at that cost of living increase. Mm -hmm. And guys, these numbers are crazy. Like that amount of maturity is something you typically see over two or two and a half years, sometimes three years. And now they're talking about this being able to be happen, you know, happening by the end of the year, essentially. Like, yeah, it's, yeah never boring. This is it. And again, we've went through an interesting time where we, you know, we basically shut down a big portion of our economy and it's getting restarted. And there's a lot of unintended consequences. And, and one of them is going to be wage inflation. I think it's pretty clear at this point. Yeah. Yeah. Mike, um, tell us how everyone can find you, my man. Go to your Google search bar and type in one rental at a time. You should see a YouTube channel, Instagram, books, all that stuff. All that stuff. So guys, this is Matt, the Lumberjack Landlord. If you like what we put together today, which Mike and I spend a lot of time, we do a ton of reading, research, conversations. We put all of that together and make this brilliant soup that you see here today. So if you like any of that content, please make sure to subscribe and make sure to check out Mike on his channel at One Rental at a Time, which is coming in on 20 thousand subscribers mike congratulations you're getting in there getting in there so mike thanks so much for the time have an awesome weekend and thanks so much everybody take care